Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be doing my favorite vegan arepa recipe that I'm actually going to be showing you how to make. Now, what I love about this recipe, guys, honestly, is that I'm showing you how to make an authentic arepa, number one. And number two, I love the stuffing of this arepa, which consists of like black beans and corn with my pink sauce, AKA salsa rosada, which is just delicious. All that is gonna be combined. Also, we're adding in some avocado because yes, avocado does save lives, I guess. Not really, but everything just really goes great together. It's absolutely delicious. And it's something that it's just such a mix of flavors from the warm arepa to the crisp salad slash salsa with that beautiful salsa rosada. It just makes this the ultimate vegan stuffed arepas. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe and please don't forget to give your girl a big like, a big share, and a big subscribe. And make sure to hit that notification button because y'all should know that I'm bringing to you new videos every single week. Guys, I will see you next week. Ciao. We're gonna start with this zesty pink sauce. It's only four ingredients and pretty much all the ingredients are obviously vegan. We're starting off with our vegan mayonnaise. My favorite vegan mayonnaise, by the way, is follow your heart, but you can definitely use the mayo of your choice. And obviously if you're not vegan, you can just use regular mayo. And to make this, we are literally using a small bowl and a spoon. And now I'm placing in my beautiful ketchup of choice. My favorite is Annie's organic ketchup, but you can and definitely use whatever ketchup you have available. Fourth and last ingredient, it's that paprika. Now with the paprika, it can be smoked paprika, it can be sweet paprika. The point is, is that we just need some paprika. And lastly, we're gonna be adding in our one tablespoon of sriracha, Tabasco, or hot sauce of your liking. Remember, if you don't wanna make the spicy, just omit that ingredient and just season lightly this beautiful sauce and let mix everything up with a fork or a whisk. I just use a fork because it's just much more convenient and easy. And that pretty much sums up this four ingredient zesty pink sauce vegan style. And now what you can just do is place it either on the fridge or place it on the side because this is going to go inside of our arepa, which is that beautiful sauce. And now onto our fresh salsa. Now, the easiest way to do this is just have everything already prepped up, drained, rinsed, and pretty much ready to go. In a large bowl, uh, let's place in our one 15 ounce can of black beans. I've obviously drained them and rinsed them and patted them dry with a paper towel. Next, add in your one can of whole kernel corns. I also have drained, rinsed, and patted them dry. Next, our freshly diced tomatoes, our freshly cut and diced Haas avocados or whatever avocado brand you have available, but just make sure it's that, you know, good, good avocado. It's fresh and it's ready to eat. We're adding in our garlic cloves. I used one garlic clove for this recipe minced. Remember that this does add a little bit of that like spiciness from that garlic that makes it just absolutely delicious. Add in your half a cup of diced red onions. I did a very small dice. Next, we're adding in our three tablespoons of chopped fresh cilantro. This is optional, but it is just so flavorful. And if you don't like cilantro, go ahead and just use parsley. Stir to combine either with a spoon, a fork, or a spatula. We just wanna get all those beautiful fresh flavors combined before we start seasoning these veggies. And now we're going to be pouring in our three tablespoons of fresh lime juice, our beautiful extra virgin olive oil, salt, and black pepper to taste. We're gonna stir this again with either a spatula, a spoon, or a fork. And that is your beautiful fresh salsa. This is also such a beautiful fresh salsa to have for like any gathering or any potluck, or just to bring it over to a friend's house and even to have it as a meal prep, beautiful side dish or an actual entree with something on the side. Now we're just gonna cover the bowl and place it inside the fridge until we are ready to use it. 
in a large bowl, place in your white cornmeal. The white cornmeal I'm using is my childhood favorite, which is the way my mom taught me, and it is the brand called Ban. Add the salt and anise into your warm two cups of water and stir with a whisk or a fork. Now, if the water gets brown or murky, that is the perfect sign that the anise is fresh and it is doing its job. Gradually start pouring in your salted water into the cornmeal mix and with a fork or your fingers, gradually just start mixing everything up like you see in the video. And like you see, it's perfectly okay to start with a fork and then just go in with your hands like I'm doing. Now, the reason why I do the water gradually is because this just makes the dough a little bit more soft and hydrates it way, way better. And now that we have our soft, moist dough ball, we are just going to place it back in that bowl. And the only thing we're going to do is we're going to wrap that baby up and we're just going to let it rest on the side for five minutes, not in the fridge, just to the side. Now, five minutes later, look at this beautiful dough. Like you'll see in the video, the only thing I did was I divided the dough into five even balls and then I pressed each ball in between my palms to form a thick circular disc or just think of it as like a thick patty. It should be half an inch thick. What if the arepas by any chance crack, don't even worry about it. Like you see in the video, what I did, I just got some water, a little bit of warm water that I have on the side and just, you know, fix it back up with your fingertips and smooth the sides of the arepas. It's very, very simple. It's really trial and error and you really don't have to worry about it being perfect because the most important thing here is that it gets crispy on the outside and very soft in the inside. Turn your stove top to a medium heat and in a large skillet add in your oil of choice and let it heat up. Make sure it doesn't burn, just a beautiful sizzling heat is what we're looking for. Once that gets a little bit hot, now we can start placing in our arepas in the hot oil. I would say don't crowd the pan, and this is why I love saying just please use a very, very large skillet um, because we definitely want to get these babies really, really crispy. Now, the only thing that we're going to do is literally cook them. I would say cook them slash sear them for three to five minutes on each side or until a really nice golden brown crust forms. The only thing we're gonna do is literally just keep on doing this, keep on making them until all your arepas are nice and golden brown. Once your arepas are nice and golden brown, just place them onto a paper towel linen plate or a cookie sheet with a paper towel on them and just let them cool so we can start making and prepping everything for the final presentation. Now we are ready to stuff these beautiful arepas. I have everything taken out from the fridge, that fresh salsa I chopped up and sliced some cabbage and some fresh cilantro, some lime, and and let's get to it. Using a knife, split each arepa down the center, but making sure that you're leaving a little bit of that back end still intact. Now I'm doing this horizontally because this is actually the way that we're gonna have our arepa kind of just, you know, be open, but still be able to stick together and eat. Look at that beautiful inside with those beautiful little anise pods. I'm just obsessed with this recipe, y'all. So this is pretty much what's gonna happen with each arepa. We are evenly spreading out the zesty pink sauce on the tops and bottoms of each arepa. Or you can just have it in the bottom and then just drizzle a little bit on the top. This really just depends on your liking. The last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna finally be adding that beautiful fresh salsa. Like I said, this depends on how much you wanna serve inside of that beautiful arepa and lastly and this is optional 
if you want you could put a little bit of either cabbage or lettuce on top i prefer cabbage because it's a little bit more crunchy and a little bit more thicker and obviously the lime is optional but i just love putting a little bit of that lime fresh lime juice on top because it just adds that zinginess that i love and here we have our finished product with these vegan stuffed arepas with black bean corn salsa and that zesty pink sauce um drizzling more of that beautiful fresh lemon juice and i've topped it off with a little bit of chopped cilantro and that is today's video of the week i hope you guys enjoy this recipe and now off to the food porn b-roll enjoy mm -hmm. 